Hello coders, this is Jared from Renaissance Coders and today we're going to cover logical operators in JavaScript. This video is a continuation of our introduction to JavaScript series so be sure to check out the other videos to learn more about JavaScript. Okay, let's get started. Logical operators are usually used in conjunction with boolean values but these operators can also be used with other values as well. This category of operators consists of three different operators including the logical and operator the logical OR operator, and the logical NOT operator. Okay, the first thing that we need to cover is truth tables for development. This is really a basic programming concept, and we are, we are going to start a series that is targeted towards concepts like these in the future. Since we are covering the logical operator specifically, we are going to very quickly go over this, though. A truth table essentially shows the outcomes of comparing Boolean values. So if we look at this truth table, the first thing that you will notice is that there are four variations of the comparison's result. Those variations are true, 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 false, false, true, and false, false. This table is specifically talking about the and, or, and not operators. So there are several other outcomes when talking about um, truth tables and evaluations once you start talking about um, if and only if and, and things like that in computer science, but that's really for another video. So. Let's get started by defining some of these operators and maybe you'll see how a truth table can really help you. We're going to start with the logical AND operator. The logical AND operator can only return a value of true if both of the conditions in the equation are true. Let's get started by looking at some code. Okay, the first thing I want to point out is that I've changed my IDE. I wanted to go with an online IDE that could interpret JavaScript and give us some output as a response. So I found this great app online that's called Tinkerbin. Um, if you search in Google, you should be able to find it. And it's really a, a lot of fun to play around with, just sort of testing JavaScript code and stuff like that. So if you watched the previous videos and you're like, oh man, he changed, you know, why'd he change? That's why. I wanted to, you know, really let you guys see the output and things like that. So, all right, let's get started. To test our code, we're going to be using if statements. So the first thing we're going to want to do is create two variables. I'm going to create a variable x and set it equal to 10. All right, I'm going to create another variable y and set that one equal to 5. Now what I'm going to do is create our if statement and say if x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 5. Okay, so really what we're saying is, you know, if this condition is true and this con condition is true, we're going to do something right here. So let's go ahead and say what we're going to do. We're going to document.write true. Okay, and then we're going to close up our curly braces and do our else statement, which is just going to document.write false. Right, so that's a pretty, pretty simple example of an if-else statement. So looking at this code, you can probably tell this is going to be equated to true. So let's go ahead and run our code and see what happens. So if I click on the run button down here, the output is true, right? Just exactly what we thought it was going to be. So let's play with these values a little bit and see what happens. So if we say if x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 5, then we're going to write document.write true. Else, we're going to write false. Okay, so this should definitely write false because x is not equal to 9, right? So let's see what happens. Okay, we got the right output. Now, if we do both of these as false, let's see what happens. So if we say if x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 10, we're going to write true, else we're going to write false. Again, both of these conditionals are false, so we're definitely going to get an output of false from this AND statement. So let's go ahead and click on the Run button and see what happens. Alright, we clicked on it, and now false again, right? Because the AND logical operator can only evaluate to true if both of the conditionals here equate to true. Okay, now let's move on to our next logical operator, the logical OR operator. 
the OR operator will return true when both of the conditions are true or if either of the conditions are true. So essentially this, this operator is the opposite of the AND operator. And the only way to get the operator to be false is if both of the conditions are false. So let's modify our current code to have the OR statement here, which is just two pipes. Okay, so now that we've changed the code to the OR, we're going to click Run again. And this should be false, right? Because these are, again, both false. So let's play around with this and see what happens if we set them both to true. So if x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 5. All right, run it again. True, right? Because both of these are true. So if essentially what we're saying here is that if x is equal to 10 is true or y is equal to 5 is true, then print this. Okay, so let's see what happens if we make the first condition false. So let's change this to 1. So if x is equal to 1 or y is equal to 5, print true. So again, this should be true, right? Because y is equal to 5. So let's run it. And we get true again over here. So you should be getting the hang of that, right? Let's see what happens if we switch these around now. So we already tested if both are false, if both are true, and if the first is false. So now let's see what happens if the first is true and the second is false. So we're going to say if x is equal to 10 or y is equal to 4, write true, else write false. So we should get true again, right? Right, because the, the first condition is in fact true. All right, now we're going to go ahead and move on to our final operator. The final operator is the logical not operator. This operator is really simple because essentially all we have to do is see if the opposite of the conditional is true. So let's look at some code to give this concept some weight. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to remove this second condition here. Okay, and then I'm going to say if x is not equal to 10, write true, else write false. So let's, uh, let's run this and see what happens. Okay, I ran it and it returned false, right? That's because x is in fact equal to 10. So let's change this up and say if x is not equal to 100. Let's say if x is not equal to 100, we're going to write true. So let's go ahead and click run. And now we get true. Okay, that's a really basic example of how to use the logical operators. One final thing that I did want to talk about was short circuit evaluation. And short circuit evaluation essentially occurs because logical expressions are evaluated from left to right just like most other equations. For example, if we're using the AND statement. So let's go ahead and write something in here. So we're going to say if x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 5 then we're going to, sorry about that, then we're going to write out true, okay? Well, in JavaScript, what will happen is the code will literally look at this statement right here and say, okay, I already know this is false, right? So I'm not even going to look at the second conditional because there's no way that this can be true. So that's what's called short circuit evaluation. Essentially, the code does not execute all the way through because it already knows the answer. Okay, this, is, this also works with, when using the OR operator. So let's change this up again so that we're looking at an OR operator. Okay, and now what we're going to say, if x is equal to 10 or y is equal to, let's change this to 8. So if x is equal to 10 or y is equal to 8. So the first condition is true and the second condition is false but this equation will short circuit again because the OR operator will return true any time that one of the conditions is true. So essentially all it's doing is looking at this section right here and saying, okay, I know that x is equal to 10, so I don't have to check and see if y is equal to 8 because we're using the OR here. I hope that helped you guys out. I definitely suggest you take a look at Tinkerbin. It's a lot of fun. There are a lot of other um, you know, online code editors that you can use. Um, you know, to test your JavaScript and things like that. There are a few that allow you to test like Python and C and C++ and stuff like that, but I just really sort of wanted a lightweight 
uh, editor that I could use to sort of, sort of show you guys what the, the output was going to be. So our next video in JavaScript is going to be covering the comparison operators, which is kind of covered in this video because we have the equal equal sign, which is a comparison operator. So be sure to check that one out. As always, thanks for watching, and this has been a Renaissance Coders tutorial.